The portal is now open. What is this portal? The Lion's Gate portal, 888 Lion's Gate. This portal has brought me abundance, wealth, prosperity, of course, healing. This is the perfect time to manifest while it's open. So I am here to teach you how to manifest wealth, love, and prosperity in your life. So stay tuned. The portal is open, and in a few hours, it's about to close. Hi, I'm Sal. <laughs> how, that's how they do it, right? Welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing? What you're seeing here is already sold out. I've been busy packing like packing, okay? Packing like crazy. My accent is thick. Packing, you know, putting things together. So welcome to my channel. Today is a very special episode because I'm teaching people how to manifest uh, different techniques, okay? Some of it you probably already have at home. And um, so if you're into manifestation, uh, I will show you at the end on how to bring in love, money into your life. Okay, so we're going to start with your tarot. Um, the Lion's Gate is happening, of course, on the 888. It's 2024. Numerology-wise, we are in the year of the 8. Um, we're also of August and then 8. So this, um, hopefully it's still available, but it's going to be down there. Um, when you watch this reading, okay? So let's see. I'm going to talk about uh, the mega wealth, the mega love. Okay, let's see first. I'm also using my own tarot deck, guys. Oh, okay. The Sagittarians are thinking. Okay, so there's something about your life right now that you're thinking deeply. I'm just going to remove this, guys. A little bit hot sometimes. Okay. You're thinking deeply, processing things, and it's like you want to be either better for your person or in your career. For the Sagittarius, the portal is opening in your ninth house. Sorry, uh, no, tenth house in your career. So that could be the time where you may oh sorry, not not okay. I was talking at the not your career. It's in your ninth house. Yes, I am right, ninth house. Um present life luck. Okay, so this is a bagya house, we call it luck opportunities. If you are waiting for your life to change as far as like opportunity, you'll get more opportunities around August 16. All the way to September 16. Okay. So like there's a 30-day window for the Sagis to let's just say you want to land a job, a career, you want to get a promotion, or even relationship, those are favorable time for you. All right. This is like you creating your own luck. Meaning you would have to open the doors for yourself because the door is there, but you have to open it. Does it make sense? Because some people don't even get reached to the door. But you are going to be presented with opportunities. I see it here. And it would be up to you. Now, you have been very focused uh, on your health, on your um, living situation as well. I see that. Um, I'm seeing right now that you are more about paying your bills, you know, like you're settling off any kind of debts. You're you're a person who's um whose mind right now is like I just wanna um keep doing what is right, better myself and then improve. So something about self improvement and um health wise, financial wise, it's it's a Sag two point Now all these things are inside your head. Doesn't mean it has happened. You're processing this. So this is a person who's who knows what is right, but then you could be not lazy about it. You're just waiting for the opportunity. So opportunity-wise, it's going to be in the 16th and during that time. But in Western, the portal is open right now. Okay? Because I do say DRL there. And then, of course, I have already used Western astrology for this. The portal is open. You could send that email for a career. You can text that person, reach out to that person. And you could be rewarded because you do have the four of wands here. If you want to reach out because you also have a page of cups. Hmm. So you would have to pave your, uh, is it pave your way? Is it the right word? You know, Because sometimes, well, not sometimes, some people 
for example, they would stumble upon the opportunity. You, you're different. You would have to create your own opportunity, but you are luck itself. Like there's nothing impossible to you, but only if you are able to remove yourself from, because you have the hangman. You know, the hangman is about like looking at life in different perspective. What can I do better? And but you know, like during this time, it's like it's very stag- very very stagnant, and especially Saturn is retrograde in the third house. You may also have some questions and doubts about yourself. Like, am I doing the right thing? You know, you know, like you have all these things going on inside you. It's it's a lot of processing. So you're like an internet explorer. They call it before. Okay, Mozilla Firefox. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Now relationship is in the cards here. Mm. I see that. With the four of wands. Oh. And you have a seven of wands. Let me see. Oh. There is someone that... Which is... Uh, could be preventable. Um, I see that you guys will have an argument. Especially when Mars moves to your seventh house. But... If you guys haven't had an argument... If it's like... You know, like try to... Don't tell your person that you do everything for them and that da 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 da. Because I feel like you're gonna go into a tirade, we call it, and then there's gonna be a big argument, and then you know, like it's just it's gonna upset you, and it's gonna upset the person. But what I like is you do have the star card, which is a card of wishes being fulfilled and healing. The most important time of the year is coming, and you don't want to miss it. I wouldn't be even here if it's not for the eight eight Lionsgate portal. The logo in my channel says it all. There's two eights. This portal is so important to everyone who's manifesting either love or money. There's eight crystals that I have used for this portal that can manifest anything that you would want. I'm doing a very specific ritual during the time that the portal is open. I mean, if you don't want to have a lot of money and a lot of love, don't visit my website, eatreadlove.me. This is wonderful with the star card. Especially with the four of ones. You need to work on this relationship. Okay. And not really like give up. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Now the star is in your third house. Meaning Aquarian. It's an Aquarian card. And it's in retrograde. So. And then you're going to have a Petri dosh. It feels like you're, you're struggling between. Do I want this? And if I want it, what should I do? But then the, the opportunity is already given to you. It'd be like also like launching your social media platform or something like that. Something creative. But I don't know. You're always uh, having some fear inside you. Like you question yourself. You doubt yourself. Um, and then you have a five of cups. Emotionally, you're very much exhausted. It's a, It's like how come I cannot make it work? This is what you're saying. It's like I'm trying my best. I'm doing my best. And it's like... Life is not really going the way that um, uh, you know that you would like to for yourself. Okay, now I am not. Uh, how do you call this? Um, uh, I have my fair share of struggles in life, uh, you know. But I never question. That's the thing. I never question. I don't. It's not part of me. Maybe you know it's in your chart, but it's never you know part of me. I accept. And one thing that has helped me, of course, is like working with gemstones. So this one is the Lionsgate 8-8. Eight, eight. There's eight gemstones here, which if you pre-order right now, which is the last day on the 8th of August to pre-order, um, I'll put the link down there. You, will, um, you won't get this. This is pre-order, which means that I would have to make it during the time that the portal is open. And when the portal is closed, well, next year I can make another one for you. Okay. So you get the wonderful gemstone bracelet, a gemstone that has helped me. You have selenite, which is I love selenite because it's angelic, it purifies. It has eight gemstones also. I would choose the gemstones for you. Uh, each one will get unique, okay? And my lovely peacock feather, no animal was harmed, okay? Um, this one is for Vastu, so you put it in the northeast side or in the front of your house for success. My whole arms is a peacock feather for people who's wondering. And a... Um, intention candle. Not everyone will get the same because I wasn't ready or prepared at least for thousands of order, which I will share in a little bit. So you, but everybody will get a, um, a candle for intention. Okay, and you get this uh, kit now. 
again, if you're going to ask me, Sal, am I going to get that kit itself? It depends because, again, with the thousands of order, I wasn't prepared. Some of you guys will get a wonderful tote bag. I'm just letting you guys know because I'm here for everyone, but I didn't expect the thousands. Okay. So, but it has the same magic, of course. Yes. So, um, make sure to check it out. It's down there. Um, all significant gemstones that has worked with me, I will share with you a little bit how it has helped me. Free shipping in the US and we ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. Okay. This is the mega love and mega wealth. Hmm. Yep. I feel like the you and um, the you. You are upset, not satisfied with your person's input energetically. Eight of Cups is here, which only means your person is also exhausted from the relationship. Tiresome. Uh, so ever since the two of you are together, because you have four of ones here with a star card, the two of you haven't been really communicating well with the five of swords, so things has been quite challenging, especially that your Lagna Lord, uh, Lagna, uh, your seventh house Lord Mercury is in retrograde. Mercury rules Gemini. Miscommunication, misunderstanding is there. Um, this is also the time where you may also question, you know, it's like, I want to change, you know. Um, just be careful if there is something that I can give you guys a heads up is a breakup might happen because the Five of Swords is here. But the crucial moment or the crucial time is between um, the 22 to the 28th of August, okay? Now, for others who are still manifesting this, of course, the portal is open right now in Western astrology, which I would recommend. And if that's something that you are manifesting to build this relationship, when you get this, don't forget to put it in the notes in the checkout. Okay, you tell me your, int your intention, your situation, you tell me it, uh, everything. I told you there's a potential breakup. You have a death card. So we got to be careful. Okay. Now, um, your person just wants to be left alone first because you have a six of wands. And then you have the ace of wands right here with the knight of cups. It's giving like your person, like let bygones be bygones. Let's forgive each other. But it's you who's not going to forgive them. I'm just being honest here. So either they cross the line, you don't see eye to eye, you, I'm seeing here like you're not giving them a chance because you have this. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I really don't know why. And then you have the death card because for you, it's just like, well, you walked away. You left me, you know, like, how can I just accept you back? Because there's someone who's reaching out, ace of wands. So yes, to a certain degree, because you, your seventh house is ruled by Mercury, then of course a chance for reconciliation. Same thing as Pisces. Their seventh house is uh, ruled by Mercury and it's in retrograde. Mm. Connecting with the Leo also. Saturn is in the seventh. So could be ret uh, this retrograde also can bring reconciliation. Definitely reconciliation is in the cards. You have a three of cups. You got a page of swords, okay. I see your person, um, how I wish, how I wish that they'll be more honest with you on why they want this to work. There's a sense of need or there's something that you provide to them that they really, really want. It's like, oh, I want this, I want this. Yeah, well, you only give it to you. you. You're the only provider. Could be financially also. You're just tired that it's only you who's putting that effort. Four of Swords. It's just like, how much more? You have the Justice card here and the Two of Pentacles. You haven't made that decision of... Um, let's just say you're not sure whether to continue or not. Okay? You're still on Limbo here with the Two of Pentacles and then the Justice card. Okay, so it's like, oh, let me decide. It's not a yes, it's not a no, it's a maybe. But for a good amount of um, people who's watching here, who's connecting with the read, 
I feel like there's so much hope in this relationship. You have a star card in the four of wands for two people to come together. Now, if this is um, basically what you're manifesting, I'm going to teach you how to manifest like this kind of abundance in life. Hi everybody! So welcome to the part where I teach you how to manifest uh, wealth, love, abundance in your life. Now, there's going to be a lot of mystical stuff that I'm going to be teaching you guys. These are tri trade secrets, basically, that I have um, practiced. So when I teach, it, all, it will always be um, something that I've already um, uh, learned from another um, basically mystic and then I would apply it to myself and I would wait months or sometimes even years um, to see if it's really effective for manifestation and then as soon as I um, I found out that it does it works then I share it with everyone because that's how I teach here I uh, well, how do you say that I practice what you preach I have to practice it first and if it's good it's good if it doesn't work it doesn't work you know so um, right now, I'm going to be teaching you guys uh, first is having lavender. This is a lavender plant that I have um, I have planted um, um, here. I have four actually in front of uh, my yard. And that one is, uh, I, I, I got it from another Vedic astrologer to remove stress because lavender is, um, how to call this, it's very soothing. You know, the fragrance, the aroma, of course, we know that. And... Um, if you are running on a Rahu Dasha, Maha Dasha, Antar Dasha, or you're always stressed, or you deal with a lot of people in your life, then lavender would be very, very good for you. Okay? So I've tried it. I've used it. The whole house, going to the residence, I call it, has a lot of lavender. Now, it doesn't, it doesn't end with the lavender. You will see here, this is a clay, uh, a clay pot. Okay? So... Depending where your house is set, okay, because in Vastu, basically, I don't know what's the location of, uh, of your house or Feng Shui, um, but in the, let me, I'm just doing the, the northeast, west, south. In the southwest, if I'm not mistaken, southwest or southeast, um, one must have a clay um, pot. This is for lengthening life, okay, of the resident. So this, uh, it's, not, it's not about promoting health. But it gives you longevity. And it cannot be like a small pot. Um, it has to be like a significant pot, of course, um, if you want to lengthen your life. Okay? So um, probably you're wondering right now, so ooh, there it is. Okay? So I know people so who's getting the lion's gate. Oh. So well, anyway, um, so everything I do, it always has to have meaning. Everything that I have always have a meaning. Um, and I'm going to take you more to different things that I do. And another part of, uh, <laughs> of the house, the residence, is having a wreath. Now, this is more of feng shui, depending again your house. But this is from what I've learned and what I've practiced. I have purple. You can have either yellow or purple um, and orange, if I remember correctly. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, so I have used, this is lavender also. It's not a real wreath. Um, because it's hard for me to make, um, how do you call this, um, uh, real lavender with regards to making it as a whole circle like this. This is here for the whole year round. <coughs> Excuse me. There's just a lot of things going on with the wind. So this right here uh, um, promotes a lot of good vibes in the house and at the same time wealth. That's one of my experience is that it does bring wealth. Now, you will see also the color. I'm going to move to this side. You will see the color of the door is red. Now, depending on your feng shui location again, um, you would have to study which door, which color of the door is good for you. Um, so mine was already red, and this is also connected to Vastu. It goes by the chart, okay? So you would need to consult an expert for that, but this one, amazing wealth giving, okay? Now we go down, okay, to the mat. Now the mat will vary different colors, red or green. Now, this one right here, you can tell it's still a Christmas tree. And I've used it since Christmas. And this one I recently just added. And this one is still more experimental with, uh, with this uh, feng shui uh, charm. So, But this one has already proven to me so much uh, wealth again. So when I talk about wealth, it's not like, ooh, wealthy life. No, no. Money, honey. Okay? So when I teach, I will tell you guys, it's, uh, it's really um, about um, manifesting abundance in life. Okay? 
So this uh, this two, um, amazing again. I would give it a 10 star, okay, with regards to money. And then you're going to move a little bit uh, here, okay. You're going to see my foo dogs. So I have a foo dog here. Of course, it's male and female, okay. Now, this, uh, this, uh, this is made of bronze. There's different kinds of food dogs that you guys can get, um, different materials. It would, it would vary from your um, bachi chart, meaning um, also like, you know, like your feng shui chart. So your birth chart, basically. Um, I found out that mine works with uh, bronze better. There are some made of uh, marble, resin. I would, I would go for the marble even better. But it's hard for me where I'm located to secure one. But this uh, this one came from Hong Kong, actually. And again, it does provide you that uh, the, you know, the, the food dogs are guardians of the house, right? Um, but at the same time, uh, I work with the food dogs like a, uh, how do you call this? Like the piao. So they would fetch, you know, basically they, you will, they're your guardian. They will bring you what you're manifesting. So if it's money, then... I'm going to bring you that money. Welcome to the garden of the White House. No, it's not. This is not the Rose Garden. This is the garden for Goddess Lakshmi. Now, I just recently planted jasmine, but I always spray jasmine fragrance uh, from Nesmatana. If you guys don't know, I do have a manifestation fragrance, uh, uh, how to call this site, which is nesmatana.com. If you cannot plant your jasmine, this is a jasmine plant, okay? Um... Then you can spray jasmine around your house. You can get it at nesmatana.com. You choose jasmine. You choose your zodiac. You spray it every morning. Do not miss on it, okay? Just in case you cannot plant jasmine. But if you can plant jasmine and spray, amazing. It is for Goddess Lakshmi, one of the favorite flowers of Goddess Lakshmi. So I'm growing it in an arbor. You guys will see it. This is an arbor. So... An arbor signifies um, authority, royalty, okay? If you're not familiar with the nakshatras in Vedic astrology, um, the arbor is connected to magha. So if you are in, you have a magha nakshatra, which is in Leo, you basic. I cannot sit on it, guys. You're basically, um, you know, bringing in from past life, okay? Royalty, meaning luck, abundance, money, fame, success. So, but, because uh, magha is the throne. So people who are sitting in the throne, well, you know, if you watch Game of Thrones or House of Dragon, then you become basically, you know, the unburned. No, it's not. No, but you, you become royalty, successful, money, help people. You're a king, you're a queen. So that's what it brings. So I'm still in the process. I'll keep you guys updated with how the jasmine arbor will come into. But I already work with jasmine. But this one is just recently planted. So welcome to a little corner in my house where, or the residence, where I have every little thing for manifestation. Now, remember I told you earlier, I do have a jasmine mist spray. So this is that one, okay? So I spray this, okay, around the residence in the morning because a jasmine, um, if you're not familiar with um, goddess Lakshmi, she is the goddess of wealth, prosperity, and abundance. She usually visits our house at uh, after um, sunset, once the sunset at 6 o'clock. But in the morning, I like to invite her as well. But she comes at night, okay, to bring in abundance to your home. So that's one of the things that I have here. And then you will notice here, I have different kinds of bell. So the bell is for cleansing the energy of the house. Now, if you're doing... Um, if you're doing some cleansing, you do clockwise. So you know how the clock rotates, right? So you start from either the entrance of your door and then you go clockwise, ringing the bell, uh -huh, and then elevating basically the energy of the house. One of the things or techniques that I do is I do recite the mantra for um, uh, Lord Ganesha. So uh, I do the mantra for Lord Ganesha. There are different kinds. Uh, they're not. There, there are different mantras for Lord Ganesha. But I, that I have my own chart also for my own chart. But I also have used already the Om Gam Ganapataya Namaha. So I repeat that going around the residence. Okay. So this two right here, I light the incense cone lotus in the morning. So when I light it, oh, you guys are going to see that. So it's really used, used. Okay. So every morning, I would light a lotus cone incense. Two elephants signifies the two elephants that got it, that has poured, I believe, 
uh, when the churning, okay, when churning the ocean, um, Goddess Lakshmi came out. And so this signifies for me the two elephants that was pouring water or milk. I forgot. You can, you can of course, um, tell me in the comments. I always, you know, I'm kind of like, oh, is it water or milk? It was being um, poured to Goddess Lakshmi by the two elephants. I believe it's two white elephants. So I put this here in the morning. I light it up and... Of course, inviting that uh, you know that energy to to the residents. Now you will see here. I'm gonna bring it up up close. This is my puja. Okay, um, this is for my prayers. Um, at night, okay, I don't light this in the morning before the sun set because you don't want the house to be dark. Meaning um, that you cannot let the darkness um, come into the house. I, I don't know if I'm, I'm conveying it properly, but you will always have to have a light a lamp before sunset. So I would light this up with different kinds of oil. Depends. Sesame oil can be good for Saturn. Uh, we got Manuka oil. So there are different kinds of oil. Okay. I don't use olive oil. That's for all the Italian people who watches me. Hello. Buongiorno. No, I'm kidding. So, so I light this up and then I would also recite at night before the sunset. Uh, the mantra for Goddess Lakshmi, but I also do my puja on Fridays, which is the day for Goddess Lakshmi. So this one, if you're trying to get remove of your debts, um, I do have a specific oil. I will share that in the future, um, but this is something that I do every night. Now, if I'm doing some heavy lifting, meaning a lot of energies are coming in, like an eclipse, a new moon, a full moon, you know, um, I would definitely... Um, smudge the whole residence. So the essentials are here. Um, we have a wonderful gourd also here for feng shui. Um, this gourd right here, um, I use it for also for health. Okay, so it depends. Okay, it depends. Now, um, so this is the little corner. Oh, but this one I forgot. Okay, this two salt it signifies. Okay, for me. So one is me and one is a very special person to me. So it's all about protection and manifesting that abundance to that. Okay, so I do this during the Akshaya Tritya. Uh, I believe Akshaya Tritya. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's Akshaya Tritya or the other day because there's another day where you have to buy either a broom or salt for Goddess Lakshmi. So this one. So if you, you know, um, I got it for two. Okay, now I don't. I, you know, it's Himalayan salt. Okay, but you can get any. But it, you have to buy it in an auspicious time. So you can't just go today and then buy salt. That's why when I'm telling you about the Lion's Gate. It's a specific time, 888. So you cannot get it after. Does it make sense to you? So this one you can't get in salt right now. No, you can't. No, you can't. You got to wait next year. So that's like this one, you can't get it next year. You know, like if you get it next year, no, no. You got to get it today. It's the 888. We're now in the crystal corner. Well, it's not a corner. It's more of the center of the residence. And you guys can see here. Um, I feel like I have a problem. It's called <laughs> a crystal addiction. No. So these are some of the pieces that I have accumulated through the years. When I say through the years, um, this was purchased in one month. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yeah, majority are purchased only in one month. Yeah. So when I go, go big or go home, you know, if you're going to manifest, like you got to go for it. No second, uh, second thoughts. So first, I'm pretty sure you guys are seeing all the crystals. But remove the crystals, okay? So remove the crystals, and then what can you see besides me? I know I'm good looking. Now, you're going to see my floor. Do you see my floor? My floor is very shiny. Now, there's a reason behind it. Oh, the one who's doing the camera right now is laughing at me because I do have a floor fetish. No, it's not. Okay. No, no. So you cannot invite, again, imagine your house being a temple. So if your house is a temple, and then you pray at night or the day, whatever time you pray, and you're trying to invite God into your house. Would you allow God in a filthy floor? You can't, okay? Plus in Vastu, it's not, okay? So this is maintained. This is twice a day. Uh, how do you call this? Um, shine, buff, everything, okay? So the floor is very, very important. If, you're, if you have never entered any temple, in temples, you do not bring shoes inside you know, uh, inside from the outside because one, the shoes carries karma and it's filthy. So, but in that in my residence, there's a lot of people, so I you know I have to allow them with the shoes. But um, the floor has to always be shiny and speak and span and clean. Now, I have seen big difference when I don't keep it clean. Ooh, there's gonna be some issues with finances big time. Oh, and you cannot ask your housekeeper to do it for you. I do have a housekeeper. You got to do the work. So the cleaning, 
has to be you. So if you want Vastu remedy, it has to be you. So if you have a housekeeper that helps you, you cannot ask them to do it. You, it has to be you. Okay? So that's the floor. Okay, so everything I do, like what I will always mention, has significance. All the crystals that I put in my in the lion's gate, the 8-8, eight, eight, which you're getting, it's all here. Okay? So if it has worked for me, it will work for you. That's how I see it. Okay, because it comes from me. So you'll see here, of course, there's an amethyst, you have citrine, you have the works, okay? You have malachite. Some of these pieces, of course, rose quartz. Some of these pieces are also in the mega wealth, okay? The mega wealth, lucky seven. Um, some of it are in the ultimate, I can't remember, ultimate piao, the double piao. So the combinations that I put, okay, in the gemstone, because I cannot ship this to you, plus this right here alone is going to cause this... This alone is like four or five grand. This one is probably around in the 1700 to two grand. Okay, so it's very expensive, very, very expensive, unreasonably expensive. But when I create your Lion's Gate, okay, the ultimate wealth, okay, it's always the seven, the eight, the nine gemstone that has helped me. So think of it this way you're having this kind of manifestation in the middle of my residence in your wrist. Okay, so. I'm not going to elaborate on each of the crystals, but you will always get not the same, but different kinds of crystals that I use around me, okay? So each one is significant. A cathedral has a different significant meaning. Um, a sphere has a different meaning as well. Uh, uh, you know, a point is a different meaning, also obelisk, you know. And I always have my, this one also came from Hong Kong, okay? So this is where I light my incense cone. So in the morning, I would light it up as well because it's in the center. Think of the house in the center of it is, is where all the energy is coming from. So I would need to recharge the whole energy of the house every morning. And this is where um, it all comes from. This is the part where it gets even more interesting. You will see that I have orchids, purple. Okay. So I follow feng shui for this one. Um, I have three in, in the center of the residence. Um, and... Again, if you're one of those people who has already um, made your order for this one, I'm very excited for you because I do go, okay, and then I pick it up. Okay, so I, I do have my own like kind of like farm supplier that I get it from. And then I, I let it simmer first at the residence and then I trip it to everyone. So if just in case you're wondering. Now, have I tried this? I tried the house without it. Terrible. Like you're talking about like terrible. Now, when I say ter terrible with regards to finances, it's like it's not giving. It's not giving. So as soon as I I got I go to because sometimes I would forget my old ways, meaning the things that I do because I'd be very busy as a human, and then I went and I decided one day it's like you know what? I'm gonna get my orchid. I forgot my orchid. I plant it here and there it is. Watch the flourishing abundance wealth in your life coming in. So this one highly recommended from a ten out of a ten. This is a hundred. It's a must have for everyone. Hopefully you don't kill the orchid because. Uh, I know people who does. Now, I do have an issue with fountains and I can never get enough of it. Now, in Vastu, the northeast side of the residence, um, you, it's very good if you can put some uh, fountain. Now, the house has filled with fountains and also the outside. You will see it here. We got a little bit, a little bit, like a little tiny fountain right here. Okay, so it's like a mini falls going in. So this is, uh, I maintain this myself. Um, see, here's the thing with the having remedies. If you're not doing it by heart, it's not going to be effective. Okay? That's why when I make your bracelets, I do it with heart. I do this with heart. I would clean this every morning. Mm -hmm. That's why when I make your bracelets, it's like, I only want abundance for you. Okay? So like, look at this. This is just, it feels so good. Now look at the other one. The other one was an impulse buy. Yes, it was one morning and I decided I'm going to get one. I got it. I never regretted it. Now it's huge though. Okay? You don't have to be getting this at all. Okay? That's why I can have also a fountain down there. I have like three. Three left, I think. So you will see here, I'm very dedicated to, um, to Goddess Lakshmi. This is a lotus. Um, it just blossomed and then, of course, it's, it, it went away now. But um, I do have a lotus flower right here. This is kept by me as well, so I maintain it every day. Remedies only um, takes effect if you do it by heart and where you get it from. That's on my experience. Now, as you guys can see, it is 
it's a mess. No, it's not. This is not a mess because this is the thousands of people who's getting their 8-8 Lionsgate um, kit. Now, you guys can see um, we're just in the process of making all the boxes first. And it's a whole process. And here's the good news. Hopefully, it's not yet too late that you see this video that the portal is still open. The time that you're watching this, I'm pretty sure it is when it is open. So it's not yet too late. Go, if you go down there, you will see the kit that I was talking about and how much all these people, well, they're all going to be wealthy at some point in their life as soon as I ship it. So, But I will. it's, uh, it's a pre-order. It's available at 50% off. Um, and this is just how many people, if there's like thousands of people here, then there's going to be thousands of millionaires at some point now. So I just want that to be you. I shared all my secrets. Well, not all. It's just a tip of the iceberg. I will share more in the future especially that we have an upcoming eclipse. We have the other portal that is going to be opening on the 9th of uh, September, August, September. There's a 9-9 portal. I don't want you to miss, on that, miss out on that one. There's going to be more content like this where I teach you the secrets of the mystics on how they become wealthy. Like you can see here. I'm going to show you one. Okay. So this one. Okay. So, well, this one is in the works, okay? So I'm already preparing for 2025. I don't know about you. So 2024 is over already, but I'm just going to give you guys a, uh, you know, a glimpse of what's coming in the future since, like what I mentioned, I'm going to be teaching you more and more and more, okay, on how to manifest. So this is the three-legged frog. It sits on, um, normally it sits on a coin, but there's going to be a lot of things. I will teach you more, all okay? right? So don't forget the, the essentials that I was uh, teaching you guys earlier, the basic. The Nesmatana Jasmine, you have to get that today, not even tomorrow. Okay, so I'll put the link down there. And if the if the kit is still available and you're trying to manifest mega wealth and mega love, well, you're in the right place. So thank you very much for tuning in. More mystic secrets coming to you soon in the future.